All right. Good morning, everybody. And thank you for starting your day with Channel Dead Brian Lee. I understand it is six o'clock in the morning here in my time zone, and it could be any time anywhere in the world, and I get it. So I started uh, pondering a newer series for the 6 a.m. crowd and the fitness stuff and health, especially the health-related things. The coronavirus stuff has been pretty popular. So I thought I would kind of try to do something in that vein every day. We'll see how well I do with this. I'm not going to stamp it as a new series um, necessarily. It'll just be going to life and fitness. But I saw this under, this is from getpocket.com, a, a quite a favorite place of mine to get some pretty good articles and quite often not very long. So this is with Sarah Sloat. Um, I don't know what the inverse means, but uh, insp insp inspiratory, <laughs> very tough word, inspiratory muscle strength training, vigorous breaths, boost heart and brain. So, you know, many people have been following my channel for a while. Know I like to work out in the morning. It's been kind of hit or miss with the stay at home nonsense. And I really, really got to get back to the gym. I really got to start lifting heavy weights uh, just for health reasons. And um, part of being a male over 50, the heavy weights are extremely important. Maybe they won't uh, do 30 minutes of car uh, aerobic exercises, which when you're young, they're okay. But the older you get, you should be doing less unless you're trying, unless you're running or run marathons and obviously, but perhaps they'll do five minutes of this. So I have no idea where they're going with this. Uh, the heart health results are linked to uh, devices or similar 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. And this is, looks like a young woman running. I hope she's running, not jogging. Jogging is really bad for the knees. Uh, running, you do a little more um, uh, horizontal movement instead of lateral, or not lateral, um, vertical. Uh, more than 100 million Americans have high blood pressure. And that's that's it's almost one in three, and it's pretty bad. Doctors have a mere 30 minutes, uh, say a mere 30 minutes of daily aerobic exercise can combat the condition. Can, but only about 5% of adults meet that minimum. Diet extreme is extremely important, and low salt is very bad. In an effort to meet this challenge, scientists at the annual experimental biological biology meeting presented preliminary evidence supporting a new way of working out, which they claim is just as good for the heart, body, and brain. It's called inspiration. Inspirate, is that right? Inspiratory, inspiratory, inspiratory muscle, uh, muscle strength training. And it's designed to only take up five minutes a day. Essentially, IMST is strength training for the muscles we use to breathe. Uh, across two presentations on Sunday and Monday, researchers from the University of Colorado Boulder explain why early trials suggest that IMST lowers blood pressure, improves blood vessel health, and improves cognitive health, and increases exercise tolerance time. That's good. That's just, this is called endurance, by the way. Uh, to work out with IMST, people breathe vigorously through a handheld device called an insp inspiratory uh, muscle train inspiratory. Uh, that word is just tripping me up every time, <laughs> which provides, re oh, okay, resistance. So you can think of it as sucking through a straw that sucks back. Okay, so probably provides resistance on both sides, almost like a um, a two-way valve. Um, so lead author Daniel Craig, <laughs> Daniel Craighead, PhD, tells Inverse that its ease of use makes him, its ease of use makes him hopeful that people will adopt the device. It's very time efficient, as so we hope that someone who has a reason to try it out, they have high blood pressure, they want to keep their blood pressure under control, would adopt this. Um, sounds like it's just basically getting your, your breathing going. Research is not yet complete, is not complete yet. This research is also not complete yet. Really helps if I read their words that are there. So far, they've collected about half the data they eventually want to have. The goal is for these trials to result in a, long, a larger long-term study that can ensure that what they're seeing is real and robust. But what we've seen so far is encouraging. The trial focused on 50 subjects who were 50 years or older. There we go. Each um, individual had blood pressure above the ideal 120 but they were otherwise healthy. Uh, the blood pressure of uh, participants was key. Studies foundation is to test whether or not they can lower blood pressure, okay? Uh, the team suspected this approach would help after results emerged from a 2016 University of Arizona trial, okay, led by Fiona Bailey, PhD. Her study suggests a uh, uh, design to see how IMST could help people. So first of all, I really wanna know what more about what IMST is. And this article seems to be getting longer. So I um, was originally developed in the 1980s to help wean critical ill people off of Venezuela. Okay. Because it strengthens, okay, inspire, you know, 
inspiration. Okay, yeah, in, yeah. When you inspire inspiration in, it's not just a oh, it's breathing in. And I could see that because if you have a machine that's doing most or all your breathing, you've got to rebuild those muscles. Did you figure out could aid apnea patients who have weaker breathing muscles? Uh, did help. Uh, these patients and it yielded an unexpected side effect after six weeks their systolic blood pressure dropped by 12 millimeters mercury systolic that's the one on top that's the result of about uh, about twice as much of the decrease as researchers would expect to see from aerobic okay so that's interesting um but imagine especially when you're breathing in you gotta keep from freaking out because it's gonna feel like you're drowning <clears throat> craig head and his colleagues Wanted to see whether these results were specific to people with apnea or could be applied to the public at large. So uh, far, the data shows that when it utilized as a high intensity level, 30 vigorous breaths in five minutes. Um, okay. Um, I wonder if you're holding that. I IMST can promote optimal health. Each patient demonstrated improved uh, cerebral vascular function. Okay, so you get more blood to the brain. Uh, motor uh, function, cognitive function, and bodily vascular function. So... You have better motor skills, you have better brain function, and you have better coordination. They also, um, well, body vascular, that's, that's better blood flow, I should say. So the, the that's part of it, one of the things, too, on some of these blood pressure medicines, they get the vessels, blood vessels to dilate. That's how they lower the blood pressure. So the volume is the same, but the tube is, is, the, is larger. They also uh, easy, had an easier time exercising uh, than they did prior to the trial. I think IMST has slowly evolved from something used only by very sick to something that, okay, so that won't do 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. Again, lift weights would be better, especially if the, if the subjects are over 50, men and women should be lifting heavy weights. But trust me, you lift heavy weights, take about a minute, minute and a half break in between sets, you're going to be you're going to be getting your aerobic exercise without doing slow, laborious cardio. While the study isn't over yet, uh, IMST devices are already on the market, of course. Uh, the researchers used ones from a company called Power Breath. I actually, it probably was already out there. Named because they have an internal uh, data storage system that tracks how the device is being used. There's a big range, and of course, a lot of these things there are. There's, there's very simple, probably mostly plastic devices that break if you drop them to very expensive ones that can tell you over time how much, you know, they probably even can measure your lung capacity and show you all kinds of fancy things. Sorry. But Craig has, there's no evidence yet that the more expensive ones yield better results. And that tends to be true. Now, sometimes it depends on the mechanisms and what type of exercise equipment you're talking about. Um, now, sometimes they're expensive just because they're new and there's a lot of R&D. But something like this, yeah, it's basically if, as long as it doesn't leak um, air going in and out from effectiveness standpoint, it's probably fine. But again, a lot of these that have their other bells and whistles are helping measure what's going on and can show you maybe there's a graph uh, software or something like that. Uh, he does, however, caution people to talk to their doctors I, always. Yep. While you essentially can uh, be sitting while you can do this, it's still considered a, a form of high intense physical training. Um, although you probably want to be able to, to really expand your diaphragm, you really want to be able to stand up and really straighten your back. So it's important that people consult a physician in the future. Craig hopes to see doctors encouraged. To me, this would be something, uh, if someone who isn't doing anything, this is a first step. So you're going to increase your lung capacity and get things going. But at some point, you've got to exercise those muscles, in particular if you want to strengthen things to you know, maybe stand up straighter or you know have better muscle mass and have better bone density. You need to be doing heavy exercises. But this sounds like a good weight place to start, and there aren't any comments, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, to delay death, lift heavy weights. This is an article I've already uh, read and um, agreed with a lot of it. So, But there you go. So there, I, I think this is promising, especially people who have some problems, people who um, you know need to get moving. Uh, IMST might be, is it IMST? Might be a good thing to try. And especially if you're over 40 or over 50 or, you know, let's say you gave up smoking six weeks ago and you're, you need to start increasing lung capacity. Maybe you've had some kind of injury um, or you just been a lazy bum for 20 years. And it's like, you know, I, if you're out of breath, just getting off the couch, this might be the device to start with. Get that lung capacity going, get your, di your um, blood vessels dilating a little bit more open up a little bit more and then that way you're going to get better blood flow better oxygen delivery and then when you start doing exercises you're going to have better recovery and maybe even be able to do more so there you go uh thank you very much for starting your morning with me and we will see you later goodbye yeah but it's awfully small
Yeah, no matter. Three, two, one.